Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this Tractor Pro 2 video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to beat grid a track that starts with an intro. This technique is particularly handy for progressive house and trance tracks that may have a synth stab or vocals before the very first beat of the track. In Tractor Pro 2, I loaded up a track into deck A that doesn't have a strong kick drum as the very first beat. It's called Screw It by Jayco, and I highly recommend that you check it out on Enhanced Recordings. Because Tractor Pro 2's beat grids are rigid, you don't need to add a grid marker on the very first beat of the track. You can really add it anywhere in the track to align the beats that both come before it, as well as the beats that come after it. So instead of adding a grid marker at the beginning of the track, I'm going to skip ahead to the very first loud beat, which you can see on the waveform stripe is right about here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in all the way until I can get right up and close to the beat. So right about there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add a grid marker. Now that the track has a beat grid on it, I'm gonna go ahead and check a beat near the end to see if the BPM is consistent. So far, so good. As I said earlier, the grid is applied to the entire track no matter where you place it down. This will help us find the first beat of the track that we can add a new grid marker to. So then I'm gonna go and jump back to Q.1, which has our beat grid on it. With snapping turned on, I can move my mouse over the waveform stripe so that it is exactly 16 bars behind this current location in the track. So then I can click on that, and because I have snapping turned on, it will jump directly to the beat. Now I can go ahead and add an additional grid marker. Then once I've got that new marker assigned, I can go back to the Q section, jump to our first marker, and then delete it. Even though I am removing the original marker that was placed further on in the track, I'm not actually creating a new grid. All I'm really doing is moving the location of where that grid starts. If we then go and skip to the end again, you'll see that everything should still line up correctly. And when you're happy with your grid, don't forget to go back to the grid options and lock the grid so that you don't accidentally make any changes to it later on. If you like this Tractor Pro 2 tutorial, watch our other videos at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or at the DJ podcast.com. Thanks for watching.